Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. This is the third weekend. Well, I'm a little early for weekend, but this is the third time that I have started recording to make a weekend reading vlog. And both of the other times I just gave up halfway through the weekend or never put it together. I'm determined. I am determined that this weekend it's actually going to happen. I have a few things planned this weekend, but not very much. I It's Thursday night, but I do not have to work tomorrow, so my weekend technically has begun. I am home from work in comfy clothes. It's a miserable, grainy, gray day outside. Perfect for staying in to read. I may head to the gym in a little while to just walk on a treadmill. My back has been really sore, so I'm not going to do too much physical activity, but I've a, a good walk will be nice and they have a room at the gym that is like plays movies and it's in the dark and you can just walk on the treadmill or ride a bike uh, while you're watching a movie so I may go and do that um, or if I find an audiobook uh, I'm not currently listening to anything so if I find an audiobook I may do that regardless tonight I hope to finish The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by William Kumquaba and Brian Mueller. This is a nonfiction, so this will satisfy my first challenge for middle grade March of reading a nonfiction or a story based on true events. This is about a, a young lad who lives in Malawi, Africa. Um, the first half of this book just kind of explained his life and what things are like in his village and this massive famine that, um, his, that he experienced when he was young, which, um, yeah, was just really impactful to read about from a kid's perspective. I'm just watching people kind of waste away. But there is a small library in a village near him that he starts going to to find a way to escape and take his mind off of the hunger. And he's always loved school and really wanted to go to school. Unfortunately, his family could not afford to keep sending him. So he starts he he starts by checking out the school books from the library so he can kind of keep up with his class in hopes of returning to school at some point but through the library he learns a lot about science his inclination is towards the scientific he has learned how to re, uh, refurbish and fix radios and how electricity works and power and all of those things so he ends up building a windmill and i'm at the point now where he's putting everything together and um, discovering if it's going to work or not. It does get a little heavy on the details of how it all works, which I, a lot of it kind of goes over my head because I don't have that science mind, but I feel like this would be so fantastic for kids who are really interested in science um, to see how this other kid figured it all out on his own. It's very cool. Um, and this, this little boy is very endearing. Um, his determination and, and a little bit of humor here and there. I'm really enjoying this. I have about 100 pages to go. I will definitely finish this pretty soon. I'm hoping to finish it before I eat dinner. <laughs> and then the other book that I'm going to read this evening is The Wild Robot Escapes. This is by Peter Brown and it's the sequel to The Wild Robot which I read the first week of March and absolutely loved. So I want to finish up this duology and just wrap it up and I'm really excited to see what happens to this robot. I'm not going to tell you much about the story because this is the sequel and I don't know yet because I haven't read it but um, yeah I really really enjoyed the first one and I'm looking forward to the second one. Other than that um, I have a, of course a ton of options for middle grade March. Today is the 20th no today is the 21st and I've read 19 so I am a little bit behind but if I finish both of these today, I will be caught back up, which will be awesome. So we'll see what happens. Um, tomorrow I have a massage planned at 10 o'clock and then I'm going to this film festival in the evening, but a big chunk of time where I don't have anything scheduled tomorrow. So I'll hopefully get some good reading time in. Um, and then Saturday, I'm hoping to connect with a friend at some point and I have to practice because I'm on the worship team at church on Sunday, so I do need to practice some piano at some point. Yeah, other than that, it's a pretty normal low-key weekend, which doesn't always make for the most exciting reading vlog, but I'm going to see how it goes. I'm determined this vlog is going to happen. <laughs> so you'll never know, I guess, until you see it, if it did or not, but I'm determined it's going to happen. But for now, I have about an hour and a half or so before I'd like to eat dinner, so I'm hoping to finish The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. So I'm going to go read, and I will check in later. It is almost 11 o'clock 
on Thursday evening. I got a few things done off my to-do list and I finished both of those books, which is very exciting. I'll talk a little bit more about them tomorrow, but I am tired and I'm gonna do a yoga video, Yoga with Adrienne on YouTube. I'll link it down below because she's fabulous. But there's one in particular that I love called Yoga for Hips and Lower Back Release. And so I'm going to do that before I go to bed. It's about a 23 minute video. So I've been, um, about a year ago, I put my back out and it was horrible. Um, and I've been very cautious since then because I damaged a nerve or something. I still have, um, some lingering effects in my feet, in my, well, in my foot, my right foot. Um, unfortunately, I am not insured, so I have not been to see a doctor. I have been to chiropractors until about June, but I haven't been since then, so I need to go again. But I'm going for a massage tomorrow. I found a, a Groupon <laughs> for a cheap hour-long massage, so I'm doing that tomorrow to kind of treat myself because this past week I've just felt a lot of tension in my lower back, and I just am super cautious, and I don't want it to develop into something worse. So I'm going to do some yoga and then I'm going to bed. I will check in with you tomorrow, tell you about the two books I read today and um, let you know what I'm going to be reading next. But that's it for Thursday. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Happy Friday morning. I love waking up on a Friday and feeling like it's a Saturday. It makes me very happy. I am sans makeup today because I am going this morning to go get a uh, massage and I'm very, very excited about that. Um, but yeah, all the makeup comes off anyway because they do your face and you sit in that thing for so long. Um, so I'm not putting makeup on, but I am going to go decide what book I'm going to be bringing with me. So I thought I'd show you my little pile. What I worked on yesterday was narrowing down my middle grade March bookshelf because there's only 11 or 10 days left now to read books and I'm still aiming for a book a day but I didn't need like 40 choices so I narrowed it down. Let me show you what I have now. So the whole top of this shelf was covered with middle grade March books. I think that stack is going to be returned to the library but I'm not going to take them quite yet. These are kind of priorities because I did say at the beginning of the month I was going to read this. This was a recommendation from my from you guys at the beginning of the year. I think I may pick up Sweep today, but I want to wait till I'm home. I don't want to bring it with me. This is our group read. And then this was one that was sent to me. It's also one that I'll be doing in a giveaway in a video that I film later today. So that will already have been given away, but or a copy of that will be given away, but I still need to read it. So those three are kind of priorities. They're definitely gonna get read. But then I have these still to choose from, so I have to pick one to take with me today. I think I'm kind of leaning towards The Night Diary, which is um, based on true events about an, I believe, a refugee experience. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm either con thinking about that one or The Crossover, which is another book written in verse. Um, oh, but I also really want to read. <laughs> so yeah, these four on this side are ones that I definitely want to read before the end of the month. Front Desk is a fun Chinese family works at a hotel and they hide immigrants in the hotel or refugees in the hotel. Louise Vianna's Way Home is a Kate DiCamillo, whom I love. Louisiana, it's a command, companion novel to Rami Nightingale, but I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to choose between these ones. Okay, so I'm going to bring the night diary with me in my bag. I'm not sure how much reading I'll be able to do. Obviously, I won't while I'm getting the massage because I just like to focus on all the feels, um, but I'm debating going to get a pedicure after because I haven't since last summer and it's getting to be close to like open toe season. <laughs> And I've been taking some classes at the gym where it's yoga or rolling, um, like on a roller stretching class, and you are barefoot for those. And I'm like, ooh, my feet are kind of ready for some color. So I'll be able to read if I do go get a pedicure. We'll see where the day takes me, but I'll have a book in my bag ready to go just in case. I will chat with you a little bit later. I haven't read anything yet. I was going to make some baked oatmeal this morning, but, um, whoa, that's really bright. 
I was gonna make some baked oatmeal this morning, but I, I didn't get up in time. <laughs> so now I need to get going, because my appointment's at 10, it's nine o'clock, and it takes about 20 minutes to get there, so I need to just um, finish up a couple things. Maybe I will give a little start to this before I have to leave in about 20, 25 minutes, so we'll see. <laughs> It is about four o'clock on Friday and I love today because all day I keep thinking today is Saturday and then I remember I have a whole nother day to my weekend, which is very exciting. Reading update, I'm about 160 pages into this book. I have about 100 pages to go. This is The Night Diary by Vera Hiranandi. This is the story, I don't think I told you last night what it's about. Um, in this book, it's written journal entry style by this 12-year-old girl. She has a twin brother. They live in India uh, right in the 1940s. When India stopped being a British colony, that's when Pakistan and India separated and became two countries. Before that, they were all one. Um, and Pakistan was going to be a Muslim country where India was going to be mainly Hindu and so there was a lot of fighting between those two groups of people. This family lived in what is now Pakistan, um, but they're Hindu. So they have to flee as refugees to go to India. So we're getting the story of this young girl and her brother uh, and their father and grandmother, who are the ones that flee. The mother died when the twins were born. And we have, this is written from the perspective of the young girl. She is... Um, very shy, like super introverted, potentially even greater fear than that, but she doesn't like to talk. Um, even with her own family, she is very, very shy. But this journal is written as uh, letters to her mother, um, which is very sweet. So we get this whole experience from a child's perspective, but also she's dealing with grieving and family and uh, just this experience of being a refugee and the day that they just had um, they ran out of water and they're in the middle of the desert and um, the brother gets really really sick uh, it had just harrowing experience um, I'm, I feel like I'm learning a lot and I'm really enjoying the way that it's written I have about 100 pages to go I will definitely finish this one today but right now I'm gonna get up and set my timer for 15 minutes and do some cleaning I have given myself a to-do list on my bathroom mirror which is my favorite way over the weekend to give myself a to-do list I just um, in my last little reading break I filmed a couple videos so I will work on editing those at some point tomorrow, maybe later today as well. We'll see how the day goes. Um, and then in just a couple hours, my friend is coming to pick up my brother and I, and we are going to a film festival. I forget what the name of it is, but um, it's kind of like adventure, inspirational short films. I'm not sure how many there are going to be, but that should be pretty exciting. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to film any of that or whatnot, but... Yeah, so I'm gonna get a few things done and then back to reading and hopefully I'll finish this. I'm not sure, actually, I'm not sure if I'll finish this before I have to go to the film festival, but I'll definitely finish it before I go to bed because like I said, I only have 100 pages left. So I'm staying on track, woohoo, <laughs> go me. <laughs> I'll check in later.
wouldn't be a weekend reading vlog if I didn't have a car shot, right? So here's my token car shot. Sorry for the strip of bright sun. I wonder how that helps a little bit. Um, I am headed to Williamsburg, Virginia for a few hours. I'm meeting with a friend who lives in Virginia Beach. We're meeting halfway. I'm very excited. I'm going early because I heard and looked up that there is a used bookstore called Mermaid Books right near where we'll be having lunch. So I'm going early to check out the bookstore. Woohoo! I did finish The Night Diaries last night. Um, and I can't remember the author's name. But it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I love books that deal with grief. And this whole book is this young 12-year-old girl writing a diary, addressing it to her mom who died in childbirth, giving birth to her and her twin brother. So in a way, it's her talking with her mom and um, coming to grips with, with not having a mother and having a father who's a little bit distant at times. And also, this they're, they become refugees. They live in India right when it stops being a British colony. Britain, England pulls out of India, and India and Pakistan divide because of religious differences. So Pakistan becomes a Muslim nation, and India um, becomes a Hindu nation. So Gandhi is mentioned a lot because he and many others wanted India to remain one and thought that they could live together as one. And yet all of these religious differences caused a lot of fighting and not a full out war, but a lot of people died um, in these religious skirmishes during this time period. So it was very hard hitting. Um, about a time period and an, an area of the world that I wasn't very familiar with and yet also so personal uh, because we learn about this girl and her brother and their personal experiences going through this. It was so lovely um, and yet enlightening and also hard to read at the same time. So, so good. I'm glad that I read that one, but I finished it. So today I downloaded the audiobook of Unbound, which is a book written in verse um, about a I believe a slave family who escapes into the marshes, something along those lines. Um, I'm really looking forward to listening to that. It's just a couple hours. That should be my book for the day. I also brought with me Harriet the Spy in case I get done with the bookstore early and have a little bit more time to just sit and read. Then I have Harriet the Spy to listen to uh, as something light. I did start Sweep this morning, The Story of a Girl and Her Monster, which is our group book for the month, and it's amazing. I'm only 22 pages in, and I already love it. I love the storytelling. The first paragraph totally captured my attention. It was so beautifully written. Nan, the main little girl in that story, is just going to capture my heart completely, I can tell. She is... Um, a young chimney sweep and we're getting a little bit of flashbacks of her time before the the present day of the story um it's just gonna be it's gonna be so good and i have a feeling i'm gonna cry possibly more than once and i've heard that from some people so i'm i'm pretty confident in that assessment but hopefully i'll be able to show you some clips of the bookstore and a little bit around colonial williamsburg we're gonna walk around a little bit and hopefully I'll get some reading done at the same time. We shall see, but I have about a 45 to 50 minute drive, so I should knock out a good chunk of Unbound, the audiobook, and maybe a podcast or two, because I'm loving my bookish, I'm loving my bookish podcast these days. We'll see. I'll talk to you soon.
a cool bookstore. Very old. Not not as many books uh, that might have interested me, but it's still always fun to walk around an old bookshop and talk to the booksellers. Of course, I had to get a couple because I love to support bookshops like that. So I did get a middle grade book since it is middle grade March still. I got Crispin, which is a Newbery Medal winner. The only bummer of this is Connor wrote his name right on the front of it. <laughs> Um, but it's in beautiful condition. It was only like $3 or $3.50. Uh, what was it? Let me see. $4. It was $4. But still, it's in great condition. It will help me read all the Newberries. And I loved the book by Avi that I read just a little while ago. So I'm excited for that one. And then I also purchased a book by a Southern author. And I believe she's from Virginia. Um, Adriana Tragiani. And this is Big Stone Gap, which is one of her earlier books that kind of put her on the map. It did get made into a movie. Um, but the reason that I decided on this one, well, first of all, it was the only book by her that they had, even though I see her all over. They had a few of these. Um, but also it's about a woman in her thirties who's still single and kind of signs off of men. And I could relate to that. Not the whole signing off of men, because I still would like to find a man, but I just thought this would be a fun way to dive into this Southern author. So yeah, thanks Mermaid Books for these wonderful finds. I found a two hour parking lot that I'm gonna sit in. Well, I'm not gonna sit here. I'm going in, it's right next to the Williamsburg Library. So I'm gonna go see if they have a sale shelf in there cause why not? And then I'm gonna walk around a little bit while I wait for my friend to go have lunch. Hopefully I can stay in this lot the whole time. I may need to move my car one more time, but we'll see. Jesus as our arms go up to the ceiling on three. Who's ready? Y'all ready? Yeah. On three. One, two, two three. three. Jesus as our arms go up to the ceiling on three. Hello, friends. It's Sunday afternoon. I am home from church, home from grocery shopping, and it's a gorgeous day. It's going to be even warmer than it was yesterday. Yesterday was a beautiful day too. What a lovely, lovely spring weekend. I'm loving it. <laughs> Have I said that yet? I am going to read Sweep today, get as much of it done as I possibly can. I didn't end up reading as much as I hoped or wanted to yesterday. I um, did finish Unbound, which is another book in verse. So I listened to it while I was driving and then came home and finished it while I was doing a few things around the house. And then I didn't end up um, reading anything else last night so I didn't continue on with sweep at all so I'm only just about 20 pages in 22 pages in so the goal for the day is to get a good chunk of sweep done if not all because we need to be ready to talk about it by Wednesday night for the live show which I'm so excited about for now I'm gonna go move my car because I um, my house is directly across the street from a church actually I'll stand up so you can see it do 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 and so on Sunday mornings, sometimes I get home from my church before they release from their church and I park right in front of my house. So sometimes there's somebody there and I have to go way down the street, which is what happened today. Anyways, you don't care about that. I'm gonna go move my car, 
get some laundry started, read for a little bit, and then hopefully get outside for a walk later because it's just too beautiful to miss today. But uh, I'll check in later and let you know how far I get in sweep. Got a little squirrel. Sitting up on the fence post. back from an absolutely lovely two mile walk or so and it is now just quarter to six so it's time for dinner and I made it to about 130 or 140 pages in sweep so the goal for the night is to get as far as I can I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish but I'm gonna do my best until about 10 o'clock and also while I'm doing that I am gonna start putting this video together because this is, like I said before, the third weekend that I've tried to vlog and just never put it together and never uploaded it. So I'm determined this one's going to happen. So I'm going to read, make dinner, probably watch an episode of New Girl while I eat and then read and put together a video. I will probably check in one more time before the night is over. We shall see. I did it. <laughs> I finished sweep. It was so good. I just finished it like minutes ago and it had me crying at the end. Oh boy, oh boy. I can't wait to discuss this with everybody. So many good things to talk about. So many good quotes. Um, such a lovely, lovely, lovely story. I just absolutely love it. Oh my word, I'm still weepy. Um. Yeah, so please read this if you haven't had a chance to. This is our group read for middle grade March. It was awesome. Such a good pick. Ugh. Such a good story. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. I had a fantastic few days of reading. So I started on Thursday and I finished all of these books. I only had a few hundred or so pages left of this one, finished it. That same night, Thursday night, I also finished The Wild Robot Escapes by Peter Brown. Then on Friday, I read The Night Diary. And on Saturday, driving in the car, I listened to Unbound by Ann Berg. And I don't remember if I talked much about this, but I definitely would recommend the audiobook over reading it. This is a book written in verse. It has a strong Southern dialect. Um, which is just way more fun to listen to as opposed to reading it, but loved that. And then today, well, I think I started this yesterday morning, but then finished it today. So good. Such a good weekend of reading. I am so determined to get this vlog up tomorrow. I started putting it all together already, which is awesome. So hopefully this will go live on Monday. I would love to chat with you about any of these books, about anything else you saw in this vlog, or about anything else. You know I love talking to you down in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up and like it, nope, <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be talking with you in another video very soon. Bye. Oh my word, my words were mumbling.